Presentation layer is the most important layer in our apps and it's super useful to separate our business logic entities from our presentation layer. And clean architecture, this layer contains two important parts, providers or blocks as view models and the UI itself. So now let's jump into its implementation. First create the presentation folder inside SRC directory and inside this we will create provider folder and also create the global provider file inside provider directory. Next we will add the provider dependency inside pubspec.yml file and after saving this we can use the imports in our global provider file. Now let's create a class global provider which extends from change notifier inside our global provider class create an instance of our use case, get random movie code and pass it to its constructor. Also create a function get movie code where we will execute our random movie code use case. In this function we will save the data in random code of type code entity so that we can access our random code data inside our UI. So let's call the execute method here. We have already created this method in our use case inside domain layer and you can see the execute method quote entity is on the right side of the either object hence we will save the right side in our random quote now we notified the ui using notify listener next to access this provider in our ui let's create the static method which will return our provider to make it more safer Let's wrap it into try and catch statement to catch any runtime error. So now we have called the API from our elevated button. Therefore, we have created a context watch so that we will get the data on success and we don't want to reload our app. Now let's replace our empty string with an quote. Also call the get movie quote method of our provider in our init state method. Now you can see an error in our app here because we have not injected the dependency of provider which we need to inject from the root of the app. Therefore inside src directory let's create the injector file. Inside this file create a stateless widget which will return the multi provider. We can inject multiple providers here. But in our case, we are just injecting global provider. To our global provider, we need to pass the use case. And to our use case, we need to pass our repository. Finally, to our repository, we need to pass the data source with our HTTP client. Now, finally at the root of the app, wrap my app with the injector and restart the app. You can see at the start of the app, we are getting the code here and on clicking the get code we are getting the different code here